Hello everybody, we got a fun book for Halloween today. The Three Little Super Pigs. <laughs> Trick or treat. <laughs> I love the pictures in this book. This book's by Claire Evans. Look at all those delicious candies. Claire Evans wrote, wrote it and illustrated it. She is very talented. We love these books. I'm getting a little better situated here because I want you to see all these pictures. There we go. It was the morning of Halloween and all of Fairyland was excited. The Super Pigs had been invited to perform at the annual Spooktacular <laughs> Halloween Parade as Fairyland's very special guests. But they had two hair-raising problems. What should they perform? And what costumes should they wear? <laughs> it looks like they already got costumes on. <laughs> but I guess that's because they're superheroes, right? The first super pig tried on one costume, but it kept unraveling. Then he tried on his second costume, but he kept toppling over. Finally, he tried on a ghost costume. I can practice my super speed in this and run so fast, I'll be invisible, he said. The second super pig tried on his first costume, but he kept getting tangled in all the legs. Then he tried on his second costume, but it reminded him too much of somebody they knew. <laughs> the big bad wolf, right? Finally, he tried on a vampire costume. I can fly through the air with the e with with ease in this, he declared. <laughs> the third super pig tried on his first costume, but the wig kept getting in his eyes and he couldn't see. Then he tried on his second costume, but the backpack was too heavy. Finally, he tried on a monster costume. I can lift everything with the monstrous ease now. I'll work on my super strength, he decided. Suddenly, Hansel and Gretel arrived. They looked spooked. The Wicked Witch has stolen all the Halloween candy for the par parade, they told the super pigs. She lives in the deep, dark woods and has taken all of the candy to decorate her gingerbread house. Hansel and Gretel explained, We have to stop the Wicked Witch and save Halloween, the super pig pigs declared. In pursuit, they spotted something shiny. It was a trail of delicious candy. It looks like the naughty witch has dropped some of the Halloween candy. She stole, said the super pigs. Follow that trail. The super pigs followed the trail of treats, crossing dangerous ravines and scaling crumbling cliffs, collecting candy as evidence the whole way. They finally found the gingerbread house, just like Hansel and Gretel said, gasped the super pigs, and it's covered in the stolen candy. After sampling some candy, evidence, the pigs crept into the house to catch the Wicked Witch. I can't believe that they were eating the evidence. But instead, they were greeted with a terrible surprise. Trick or treat, shouted a familiar voice. It was the big bad wolf. Gotcha, he jeered as he captured the pigs in his trusty net. Uh-oh. Ha, 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 ha. So glad you finally got here. But the witch was not the w one so f fun to fear, the wolf laughed. I gobbled her up. <laughs> but my tummy got sore. So I spat her back out and she ran for the door, the wolf cackled. 
Now I'm still hungry and ready to eat the three little super pigs. Oh, what a treat. Pointing to the mop and bucket in the corner of the room, the wolf ordered the ghostly super pig to scrub the floor. He wanted the house clean and tidy in time for his delicious feast. Well, I'm not waiting for any longer. These, these hungry pangs are getting stronger, he growled impatiently as he lift, lit the fire. Now, who should I cook first, he smirked. Not so fast, big bad wolf, cried Ghostly Pig. Using his super speed, the, he shot across the room and doused the wolf in slimy, soapy water. The wolf was stunned. Meanwhile, Monster Pig used his super strength to pry open the bars of the steel cage. Using his cape, the vampire Super Pig flew out of the cage and landed a direct hit. The nasty villain slid straight across the slippery wet floor, falling bottom first into the hot stove. Uh-oh, that had to hurt. Ow! howled the wolf and he jumped out of the furnace and fled the house, followed by a trail of smoke. The three super pigs had defeated the nasty wolf once again using their super skills. Practice really does make perfect. They all agreed. The Wicked Witch came out of the hiding and thanked the super pigs for defeating the big bad wolf. I'll never steal Fairyland's Halloween candy ever again, she promised. And the Wicked Witch gave back all the stolen candy and allowed the super pigs to ride her magic broomstick back to Fairyland. It was almost time for the spectacular Halloween parade. The pigs said, the good, said goodbye and zoomed off into the night sky. The super pigs arrived just in time to perfectly perform their impressive new flying routines and they gave out Halloween treats to all the people of, of Fairyland. It was the best spooktacular Halloween parade ever. The whole town cheered. Hooray for the three super, the three little super pigs. Happy Halloween. <laughs> The end, the end, question mark? <laughs> it's like the wolf has new ideas. <laughs> I thought this page was cool. So what are all the uh, costumes? We got a spider, a werewolf, a uh, jack-o'-lantern, uh, Beetlejuice, <laughs> uh, Frankenstein, a mummy, uh, Ghostbusters. <laughs> Any other ones you see? Anyway, <laughs> have a happy Halloween and always root for the super pigs. Like our videos and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.